Tomorrow will be another day to take your heat precautions as well. It might even be a little warmer than today. I'd say a water bottle or two will definitely be needed out that there. That is for sure. And with that humidity, it feels oppressive. And we've still got that humidity sticking around tonight. Out at the airport, it's 74 degrees in Fargo. We've got still a little bit of light showing up on our sky cam. And that dew point close to 70. And that's really getting into that oppressive level there. 68 degrees our dew point and wind out of the south southeast at three miles per hour. I want to show you our storm warnings in the tri-state area. None here in the valley, but some big storms moving their way toward the Sioux Falls right over uh, near the Watertown area right now and pressing into Sioux Falls. This just past to our south tonight. So we got lucky for those of us who are sick of the stormy weather. This has moved farther south. Some of us do see some rain in the southern valley here, but otherwise it's looking quiet in most of the region right now. There is a line of scattered showers and thunder showers east of Minot to just to the north and east of Bismarck. This also moving eastward tonight it has a little bit of hail associated with it some lightning uh, and probably some gusty wind too, but this is below severe limits and that will try to press into our far western viewing area, that Highway 281 corridor tonight. So that's the next concern for us to see if that does indeed make it into parts of our viewing area. Temperatures right now in the 70s, 70 in Wadena, Bemidji at 70, same thing in Thief River Falls. We're at 72 degrees in Valley City and in Grand Forks right now. And the air is pretty calm. We have a little bit of wind out of the south, less than 10 miles per hour for much of us. It's a really quiet night out there tonight. That wind is not helping to cool us down at all. It's muggy. Definitely need that air conditioner or a few fans going if you're trying to sleep tonight. Looking at our forecast by uh, the overnight hours, we'll see those areas, those isolated spotty showers and thunder showers really winding down as we wake up tomorrow morning. But again, went a little too fast here, but we did see a little rain and thunder shower activity showing up on the model before it fizzled out in our western viewing area. So that's the area to keep an eye on tonight. By tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., we've got clear conditions for most areas, a few clouds still here and there, and maybe a sprinkle under a cloud or two. But Otherwise, very mild to start off, 65 in Bemidji, 67 in Fargo, and mostly sunny. Temperatures quickly rise into the 70s and up into the 80s by lunchtime. And more heat on the way for the afternoon. Temperatures in the mid-80s to even some upper 80s. And I think in some areas we're going to see 90 degrees for a high tomorrow. So toasty when you factor in that humidity, oppressive. So make sure you... Have some precautions if you're going to be heading out to the air show or anywhere going to be outside. You want to drink plenty of water, get in that shade, maybe bring one of those personal fans with you to keep yourself cool. By later tomorrow afternoon and evening, we may see a few more showers and storms pop up. They'll mainly affect our western viewing area, Red River Valley and east. Things should be relatively quiet. But over toward Jamestown and the Devil's Lake area, we may be dealing with a couple of storms later tomorrow evening and tomorrow night before those kind of die off a little bit. We may still see some rain uh, move eastward overnight, though. Look at this shot. This is how the morning started right on Leaf Lake in Minnesota. Danielle took this photo of a couple of hot air balloons and their reflection. Very nice, very still water, so you can make out those balloons really well. Tomorrow morning, very warm, and that'll precede a very hot day, 91 degrees. For Sunday, for Monday, 93 will be our high temperature. Still muggy. We get a little break in midweek after a system passes through Tuesday morning. But that heat returns by the time we move into Friday, heading into the weekend. We may see another 90-degree day coming up. And that's to be expected, you know. We're ending in the, uh, the end of July, moving into August. That's typically when we often see these 90-degree temperatures. I feel like I've waited for these 90-degree temperatures, but now I'm not so sure about right. them. <laughs> now we have to deal with them. I'm sure we'll be asking for those come January. Of course. So I guess <laughs> enjoy them while you can. And, of course, if you're sensitive to the heat, make sure you're prepared for that. Thank you so much, Lisa. You're